the health benefits of cannabis. In this presentation, I am going to explore some of the cannabis health benefits. I used CBD and find it helpful with anxiety, nerve pain and headaches. It has been used medicinally for centuries. Modern science confirms its therapeutic potential. We'll review evidence for pain and neurological treatments. Cannabis compounds interact uniquely with our bodies. This analysis shows why it's gaining medical acceptance. Cannabis has a long medicinal history from ancient China and Egypt to modern legalization. Its complex chemistry includes over 100 cannabinoids, terpenes and flavonoids. These interact with our endocannabinoid system, ECS, which regulates mood, pain, appetite, sleep and immunity, explaining its varied therapeutic uses. THC and CBD are key cannabinoids. THC causes euphoria and has medical benefits like pain relief and appetite stimulation by binding to brain CB1 receptors. CBD isn't psychoactive but reduces anxiety and treats epilepsy by influencing neurotransmitters. Cannabis shows medical promise for pain, epilepsy, anxiety, nausea and more. Research reveals expanding therapeutic uses. Cannabis helps with multiple sclerosis by easing muscle spasms and bladder issues. It lowers eye pressure in glaucoma and improves sleep by reducing anxiety. It also shows promise for inflammatory bowel diseases by decreasing gut inflammation and symptoms like pain and diarrhea. These benefits come from cannabis interacting with the body's endocannabinoid system. Let's look at common consumption methods for therapy. Smoking and vaping work fast. Vaping is safer. Edibles last longer but need careful dosing. Tinctures act quickly under the tongue. Topicals target local pain. Choose based on needs. Cannabis has benefits but also risks like anxiety, lung damage, heart effects, drug interactions and possible addiction. Medical advice is key. Cannabis has therapeutic potential but needs more research. Medical guidance is essential, especially for patients with conditions or medications. Legal awareness matters due to varying regulations. Its future depends on responsible use, ongoing research and integration with healthcare to maximize benefits and minimize risks. Let's examine the complex landscape of cannabis in Ireland through legal and psychiatric lenses. Currently, cannabis remains illegal for recreational use and most medical applications under Irish law with strict penalties enforced for possession and distribution. This legal stance contrasts sharply with evolving global perspectives. Psychiatric opposition remains strong with professionals like Dr. Bobby Smith highlighting concerning correlations between cannabis use and increased mental health issues, particularly risks of psychosis and addiction. However, critics counter this position by pointing to potential conflicts of interest within psychiatry, suggesting the field may have financial incentives to prescribe pharmaceutical alternatives rather than support cannabis-based treatments. This tension between prohibitionist policies and emerging therapeutic evidence creates a fascinating case study in how societies balance public health concerns with patient access to potential treatments. Tell me in the comments, have you found cannabis helpful for symptoms and what symptoms does it help in your experience? See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.